guys, Roxas here today, and we're going to be going through the new Minecraft 1.2.4 update. Now, the first thing that's kind of cool and awesome is for server changes, because Bucket has recently joined Minecraft or Mojang and helping out with the Minecraft server stuff. So, first of all, um, pressing up will bring up your pretty much chat history, so you can go through all the stuff you've said before, which is pretty cool. Um, so it makes changing game modes a lot easier, like just like that. Um, also, if you type a link in, uh, you can press uh, no, your chat button, click on the link, and you can. Well, this will come up. Are you sure you want to open the following website? YouTube.com. Never open links from people you don't trust. Um, so you can, if you click yes, it will open up your browser. Um, if you press copy to clipboard, it will pretty much control C it, which is copy it, and if you press no, nothing will happen. So yes, that's um, pretty cool, and also last thing on the server is, um, if you press control A, you can now copy stuff by doing control A, then control C, control V, boom. And yes, um, now then, I will take you into my main world, um, or, yes, the world of 1.2.4. Now, I am rushing through this, if you haven't realised, I haven't made a video in a while, so it's a bit rough. But, um, yes, why have I got this? So, first thing is most of all, there are new kinds of wood. Um, which is pretty cool, you just have to ignore the sounds of the slime in the background. So, normal wood, um, is still with normal trees. Um, yes, not very descriptive. I'll show you this first. So, normal wood still gives you the normal wooden planks. Um, I think this one's oak wood, gives you a slightly darker one. The white wood, wood which you find in forests, forest, uh, or something, some kind of biome. Um, excuse me, and no, I think snow biome and jungle biome trees, you will get these wooden plank things. Slightly orangey colour. So, um, yes, new kinds of woods. And also, if you are worried about your world becoming all weird and messed up, like your wooden houses and stuff, don't worry, it's not going to get messed up. It will still be this kind of coloured wood because there's such a thing called ID numbers for blocks. Um, now, I mean, you're probably wondering why I've got all these ocelots here, also known as cats, because they're cats now. I gotta transform them with the power of fish. Um, let me just make all of them go like that. Um, ocelots will now be annoying with random slime ball, and they will, as you can see, all try to get on chests. And it can be a bit glitchy because sometimes they need a block to actually get on there. And the reason they do that is so that you can't get into the chests because. Um, Notch or Jeb was saying that they wanted cats to be more realistic, so... Yeah, I can't really open them. And if I do this, you will try to also get on the bed, which will... Apparently they're not meant to let you sleep on beds as well, but, um, they do. Go away, Simon. Now then, um, also, if you haven't realised yet, there's these stone slabs that are actually on the top layer without having a bottom layer on it. Um, what I mean is, before, you would have to place a stone slab on the bottom, like so, and then place one on top, and that's the only way you would be able to get a double stone slab. Um, but now you can just do that, and without having to be annoyed by trying to figure it out, because it doesn't work, and stuff. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what makes sense. Um, very descriptive video today. Um, now then, also, if you haven't realised, there's tiny creeper faces in the sand, 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 sandstone, um, because there are new types of sand stuff. So, we have our normal sand, um, our normal sandstone, I had a spider, our normal sandstone, I can't speak. Um, which was in previous versions. We now have this, which is hieroglyphics, and this, which is smooth stone. Now then, um, 
Wait, no, it's in this chest. Aha! Wait, no, it's not. God damn it. Move, move. Aha! Huzzah! God. Sit, sit. Good, good kitty, good kitty. Right, now if you go into here, um, imagine this is a kind of workbench thing. So, um, normal sand things um, in a block of four will give you normal sandstone. <coughs> Four sandstone blocks in a square will give you the smooth sandstone. Um, <coughs> stupid sit, sit, sit. Boom. Go. Okay. And having three sandstones going across will give you the sandstone slab. And for some reason, when you put four sandstone, smooth sandstone things together, they just give you back four of them back. So that's kind of weird and useless. Probably just a glitch. Um, so if I was to do this, I would get a hieroglyphic one, which is just two sandstone slabs. I can't say that word for some reason. Um, put them on together, and you get this one. Pretty cool. With a creepy face and all that kind of stuff. And here I'm showing off cool kind of stuff you can do with a half brick stuff. Um, also, when you, when you, okay, I can't show you it now, but, um, before, in previous versions, I think it's before 1.0, when Minecraft fully became released, um, when you would open up the inventory in survival, you would get a template, actually, I will show you now, guys now, um, game, so look, now we have back these template kind of things. Um, yeah, so just for news, I don't know what goes where. We have templates, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so now also some more stuff. Um, I've got a list on my table. Um, no, I fail. Player, right. um, what else have we got? Um, oh yes, now then, um, when you would press F3, it would come up with a load of, I don't even know, I've only ever used this for finding out my coordinates, but I think it's got, like, up in the top right you can see memory and how many RAM, how much RAM it's using, and there's like some kind of pie chart there. Um, yeah, so if you don't want all that, if you press Shift and F3, you will just get the normal old school one. Um, which is kind of cleaner. It's kind of cool. Yep. Um, also, when some people with kind of slow computers would get the out of memory sign, which is usually caused by blowing up a load of TNT, it will give you a choice to go back to your world or quit the game, which I guess is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all the, well, most of the stuff in 1.2 was just bug fixes, that's the majority of it, but um, that's pretty much it now and also, this is the beginning of Minecraft time, there's been a glitch which would leave Minecraft TNT ghosting blocks behind. If you don't know what I mean, when you blow up TNT, sometimes you would see white blocks of TNT still there, so that could be annoying sometimes and you'd have to re-log. Um, like, not really log, but go back into your Minecraft server or, or Minecraft world to go to disappear. Now, when you do that, um, when you blow up TNT, well, okay, um, no blocks anywhere. Now then, um, <laughs> my surprise is kind of ruined, that's just, that was meant to say subscribe, but anyway, um, so, yep, subscribe. And as you can see, no white ghosting blocks left behind, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this has been Roxas, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, another boring video from me um, of Minecraft 1.2.4. How did this woodblock survive? Ninja. Woodblock. He's ninja. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like, favourite, all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed. 
like this video, let me know in the comment section below if you want to do more update kind of videos for Minecraft. Um, and also, just a heads up, I'm going to be start. I'm going to start making some Team Fortress 2 videos, possibly some Dragon Nest. But I do need to get out all the videos that I've had for a while, like my series and stuff. But um, anyway, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.